They said it couldn't be done. For 10 long years the world waited, debated, and doubted. The idea of a car that powers itself, no fuel, no charging, no pollution, sounded like a fantasy. A myth born from the dreams of engineers and the whispers of conspiracy theorists. But now, the name Maxwell Chikambuzo echoes once again through the halls of innovation and controversy. The decade wait, it seems, might finally be over. Some say he has done it. A self-powered car running entirely on RF power. A car that doesn't plug into any grid, doesn't sip a drop of fuel, and yet drives indefinitely. To some, it's the breakthrough of the century. To others, it's a story that's simply too good to be true. Maxwell Chikambuso, the Zimbabwean inventor long shrouded in both admiration and skepticism, has been claiming breakthroughs since the mid-2010s. From his self-powered generator to electric helicopters and wireless power transmitters, his ideas have consistently defied conventional science. And while many dismissed him as a dreamer, others saw in him the spirit of Nikola Tesla reborn in Africa. Now the whispers have grown louder. Photos, videos, and even leaked blueprints suggest that Chikambuzo's self-powered car, once thought to be a prototype buried in rumor, might actually exist. In a quiet workshop somewhere in Africa, sources say the car has been seen running for days without being connected to any power source. No cables, no batteries being charged, just motion powered by invisible waves of energy, radio frequency power. For the uninitiated, RF power is the same form of energy that carries signals between our cell towers, Wi-Fi routers, and satellites. It's everywhere around us, unseen yet constantly flowing through the air. But Maxwell, according to reports, figured out how to harvest it, not just for communication, but for propulsion. Imagine a car that feeds off the energy in its environment, turning ambient waves into usable power, a machine that never stops running, never pollutes, and never demands a refuel. That's what this car supposedly does. And if true, it means the end of fuel dependency, the collapse of charging infrastructure, and the birth of a truly independent mobility age. But this is where things start to get complicated. For years, global automakers and scientists have insisted that free energy devices simply don't work. They argue that the laws of thermodynamics prevent perpetual motion, that energy must come from somewhere, and that RF energy harvesting can only produce minuscule amounts of power. Yet Maxwell Chikambuzo claims otherwise. He says his technology doesn't create energy from nothing. Instead, it collects and amplifies existing electromagnetic energy from the environment, a concept known as non-traditional energy conversion. He insists that his generator installed within the vehicle converts RF energy into DC electricity, which powers the motors. In theory, it's a closed system. The car powers itself indefinitely. And if that's true, it changes everything. Imagine a future where every car drives forever, powered by the invisible ocean of radio waves surrounding us. A world where distance no longer matters, where electric cars don't need charging stations and where energy itself is as free as the air we breathe. It's a dream of freedom, technological, economic, and environmental. But it's also a dream that threatens trillion-dollar industries. Oil, gas, electricity, automotive, all would crumble under the weight of such an invention. And that might explain why, for over a decade, Maxwell's name has been surrounded by silence, controversy, and even alleged suppression. There have been claims of corporate spies, talk of offers made and refused, rumors of visits from men in suits telling him to stop developing his technology, videos showcasing his devices have appeared online and mysteriously disappeared. News outlets have been silent, while small, independent channels have kept his story alive. It's the classic pattern of revolutionary tech hidden in plain sight, ignored by the mainstream, but worshipped by those who believe. 
In one interview, Maxwell once said, the day people realize that energy is free, everything will change. That line sent chills through the scientific community. Some called it naive. Others called it prophetic. Because the implications are staggering, a world where no one pays for power means no energy monopolies, no geopolitical struggles over oil, and no dependence on the grid. So, does the car really exist? According to several insiders, yes. They describe a prototype sedan, futuristic, silent, and entirely independent. Its engine bay reportedly houses a small RF to electric conversion module, compact yet powerful enough to run the car indefinitely. One eyewitness claims the car ran continuously for 18 hours during a demonstration, with no visible energy source. Another says it powered external devices, a television, and a set. The lights while still running. But here's the thing. No independent lab has verified it. No global automotive body has tested or certified the technology. And that's where the skepticism returns. Is it possible that all of this is just part of an elaborate myth? Could Maxwell's RF-powered car simply be misunderstood, a misinterpreted hybrid or hidden battery prototype? Skeptics say yes. They point out that the videos showing the car running often avoid showing the entire setup, that wires could be hidden, that batteries could be disguised, that RF energy could just be a clever label masking a more conventional energy system. But believers counter with one powerful question. If it was fake, why has no one disproved it publicly? Why would someone risk their credibility for so long in so many countries just to keep up a hoax? And why would governments show interest if there was nothing there? Rumors swirl that several nations, including South Africa, Nigeria, and even the United States, have quietly approached Chikambutso to test his technology. Nothing has been confirmed, but that's exactly how sensitive innovations begin in secrecy under scrutiny before the world is ready to believe. In 2023, alleged documents leaked online showed references to a mobile RF converter vehicle registered under Maxwell's company. The authenticity was never proven, yet it reignited the fire. People began searching for him again. Videos resurfaced, claims multiplied, and now, in 2025, the rumor mill is louder than ever. Reports suggest the car was recently showcased privately to investors in California. Attendees allegedly witnessed the vehicle operating without any external power input. Some say Elon Musk himself has been briefed on the design not to buy it, but to understand what he's up against. Others believe Tesla's research division has been quietly studying RF-based propulsion systems since late 2024. Coincidence? Maybe, maybe not, because history shows us something important. Every breakthrough starts as a rumor. The first reports of electricity, flight, or even the internet were all met with disbelief. People laughed at the Wright brothers until they flew. They mocked Tesla until his coils lit up entire rooms wirelessly. So could Maxwell Chikambuzo be next? Maybe we're witnessing the rebirth of a technological revolution, one born not in Silicon Valley, but in Africa. And maybe, just maybe, the decade of waiting has ended. But the mystery deepens when you look at how elusive Maxwell has become. He rarely appears in public now. His interviews are scarce. And when he does speak, it's in metaphors about unlocking the frequency of life and aligning energy with purpose. To scientists, it sounds mystical. To his followers, it's the language of a genius misunderstood. So where does the truth lie? Some researchers claim to have replicated fragments of his RF energy experiments, capturing small amounts of power from Wi-Fi or radio waves. But scaling that up to power a car would require a massive leap in efficiency, something current science says is impossible. Yet if Maxwell found a way to amplify or resonate those waves, the impossible might just become real. 
He has always claimed his secret lies not in collecting energy, but in multiplying it through resonant electromagnetic feedback, a kind of controlled, self-looping system. That's the part most scientists reject, because if it's true, it breaks our current understanding of physics. And maybe that's exactly why the establishment ignores him. Because science doesn't easily accept what it can't explain. Still, the public's fascination grows. Online forums are filled with discussions dissecting every clip, every quote, every frame of Maxwell's prototypes. Some users claim to have built mini versions using RF coils and capacitors. Others believe the entire thing is an illusion powered by hidden lithium batteries. But what no one can deny is that something about Maxwell's story refuses to die. It keeps resurfacing decade after decade, like an unfinished chapter of human innovation. Maybe that persistence is itself proof of something real, because myths fade when they have no roots. But his story keeps finding new believers, new evidence, new momentum. And as the world faces rising fuel costs, energy crises, and environmental collapse, the idea of a self-powered car feels less like fantasy and more like necessity. If Maxwell's car exists, it won't just change the automotive industry, it will change civilization itself. But what if it doesn't? What if it's all a misunderstanding, a legend that grew beyond its source? That's the paradox. Because even if it's not real today, it's pushing people to think differently. To explore the boundaries of energy, to challenge authority, to imagine beyond the limits set by science. And that might be Maxwell's greatest invention of all. Not the car, but the idea that we are capable of more than we're told. Still, the whispers persist. Uh, a private video allegedly recorded in early 2025 shows a dark blue vehicle gliding silently across a test track labeled self-powered vehicle MKII. The uploader claimed it was filmed at a facility owned by Chikun Gizzo's company. Within hours, the video vanished. Copyright strikes, account deleted. And just like that, another piece of the puzzle was gone. Coincidence? Maybe. Maybe not. Some call it protection. Others call it suppression. And that's the problem with stories like these. Truth hides between layers of belief and control. You can't touch it, but you can feel its presence. So where do we go from here? If the car exists, we may be on the verge of humanity's greatest leap. Free, clean, limitless mobility. If it doesn't, then the world still waits for the one who will finally make it real. Either way, Maxwell's story has already changed the conversation because now millions of people across the planet are asking the same question. What if it's true? What if a man working quietly in Africa cracked the code the world's richest companies couldn't? What if the future of energy doesn't come from billion dollar labs, but from minds that refuse to obey convention? The decade wait may indeed be over, not just because of one man's invention, but because of what it represents. Hope, possibility, defiance. The belief that even in a world ruled by giants, a single idea can still change everything. So maybe this is how revolutions begin. Not with headlines or governments, but with rumors. With one car, one inventor, and one impossible dream. And maybe, just maybe, that dream is already alive, humming silently, somewhere on the edge of belief and reality. Because whether Maxwell Chikambuzo's self-powered car truly exists or not, one thing is certain, the world will never stop looking for it. And when it finally appears in the light, the decade we waited will feel like only the beginning. Maybe the truth has always been closer than we think. In the quiet corners of the internet, people are connecting the dots, grainy clips, leaked patents, cryptic posts claiming to show the car in motion. They speak of an RF energy module no larger than a shoebox, pulsing faint blue light, feeding power to the car's motor endlessly. 
Some say the design uses a network of antennas tuned to multiple frequencies, harvesting energy from cellular towers, Wi-Fi, and even the Earth's own magnetic field. Others insist it's more advanced, that the car creates its own electromagnetic bubble, recycling energy in a closed resonance loop. It sounds impossible, yet eerily convincing when described by those who claim to have seen it. A few technicians who supposedly worked with Maxwell described test drives lasting for days, the car gliding silently through city streets, consuming no fuel, producing no heat. No one could explain it, but no one could deny what they witnessed either. One even said it's like the car was alive, feeding from the air itself. Skeptics call these people actors, but believers call them pioneers. In online forums, engineers debate the possible science. Could RF energy really sustain motion, or is there an unseen power source, perhaps something new entirely? Every rumor births another theory. Some say the real reason Maxwell vanished from the public eye is because he's been working with a secret coalition of African and foreign investors. Others believe he's been silenced, his work locked away under government pressure. But then, new sightings emerge, a vehicle matching his prototype seen in Zimbabwe, another rumored test in South Africa, and one blurry image allegedly taken in California showing the same distinct rear design. It fuels the fire once more. People want to believe because belief is powerful. It's the spark that drives innovation before science catches up. And maybe that's what Maxwell understood best, that the greatest inventions are born not just from equations, but from conviction. If his self-powered car truly exists, it's not just a machine. It's a declaration that humanity's dependence on fossil fuel, on grids, and on limitation itself can end. If it doesn't exist, then the myth has still served its purpose, inspiring a new generation to think beyond what's considered possible. Maybe that's the true revolution. Because whether the car is real or not, the idea has already escaped containment. Tinkerers in garages, students in universities, engineers in startups, all are chasing the same dream now. Free, self-sustaining energy. The decade-long wait may finally be over, not because one car was built, but because one man's persistence reignited humanity's curiosity. Maybe the truth will reveal itself soon. Maybe we'll see that car on the road, silently gliding past fuel stations and charging ports, rewriting history in motion. Or maybe it will remain a mystery, a legend whispered across generations, the car that defied the laws of physics and the limits. The Imagination Either way, Maxwell Chickambuzo's name is carved into the story of what could be the most transformative rumor of our time. Because even if his self-powered car exists only in the blurred space between fact and faith, it has already done what few inventions ever do. It made us believe again.